Hello everyone. This is the dissection of left orbit. The orbit is viewed from above. As we can see here, this is the anterior cranial fossa. This is the left orbit. The roof of the orbit is broken by breaking the orbital surface of the frontal bone which forms the roof of the orbit. The first structure which we identify here is the frontal nerve. This is the frontal nerve beneath which this muscle is levator palpebrae superioris muscle. Beneath this muscle, this is the superior rectus muscle. On the medial side, running along the medial margin, we can see this muscle. This is the superior oblique muscle. The superior oblique muscle passes through the trochlea. This is the trochlea. Its tendon passes through the trochlea. This is the tendon which is then inserted into the sclera behind the equator of eyeball. So this muscle here and then passing through the trochlea here, this is the superior oblique muscle. We can also see the nerve supplying superior oblique, namely trochlear nerve. So this is the trochlear nerve. Here, this muscle is medial rectus muscle. Whereas on the lateral side, we can see the lateral rectus muscle. On the medial side of lateral rectus muscle, we can see its nerve. This is the abducent nerve. Whereas on the surface, on the top of Lateral rectus, we can see the lacrimal nerve. This is the lacrimal nerve. Lacrimal nerve is going towards the lacrimal gland, which is situated here on the lateral aspect of the roof. Also, we can see on the medial side, this is the nasociliary nerve. This is the nasociliary nerve, which is running along with ophthalmic artery so this is the ophthalmic artery and the nasociliary now this is the ophthalmic vein here this is the ophthalmic vein we can also see the optic nerve which is passing through the optic canal. So this is the optic nerve situated between optic nerve and lateral rectus muscle will be the location here of ciliary ganglion. Here will be the ciliary ganglion. Thank you.